Congrats to Rod Pampling. The 47-year-old Aussie notched his first win in a decade at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. And it's not every day these guys are out in Vegas playing golf, so they took a little time to get in some fun in Sin City. Nothing says Vegas like fight night. Some of these guys were spotted at the Jesse Vargas Manny Pacquiao bout like Tony Fino. And check it out, Vegas in Vegas. Johnny Vegas was there too. But absolutely nothing can top Tommy Morsi, the internet sensation that calls himself yeah. the one-armed yeah. golfer, put everyone to shame with his skills. Oh, what a shot. Just look at that swing, so incredible, and such an inspiring ambassador yeah. for Shriners. Okay, so we know many of these guys can play, but some of them could go pro in pranking. Check out what trickster Ben Crane had up his sleeve this week. Defending champ Smiley Kaufman, just minding his own business, admiring his tee shot, and finds a few snakes by his bag. <laughs> don't worry, Smiley, I don't like wiggly things either, and I sure don't like the look of these things. Here's Mr. Adams God, Mr. Rafa Cabrera. You might want to look away for this. Three. Ah! Quick, look at something cute. Whew, much better. Jimmy Walker's new puppy Leia just chilling in his Wanamaker trophy. No big deal. Remember last week when Matt Kuchar got a hole in one at the WGC HSBC Champions and didn't win the Cadillac because the tee was moved up five yards and outside the 200 yard range to be eligible for the prize? Yeah. Well, what he claimed was the saddest day ever has now turned that frown upside down. It's pretty funny because Cooch's caddy told him to not even bother getting an ace on the hole that day because they had moved up the tees to 195 yards. But apparently, Matt didn't listen. And tournament officials in Cadillac announced this week that they would indeed be awarding Cooch the car for his effort. But if anyone knows anything about the factory of sadness, that is the Chicago Cubs. Plenty of players were locked into the World Series last week between Indians and Cubs, including Cubs fan Luke Donald. Gotta love Andres Gonzalez's quick wit, but Donald really is a legit Cubs fan and was there at Wrigley to cheer on his team to their first World Series in 108 years, which may or may not be why this brave golfer was so excited. Now that's how you flip into a new week, people. And here in this new week, we are heading to Mexico for the OHL Classic at Mayacoba. So make sure and get your umbrella drinks out and join me for the takeaway starting on Thursday. Have a great week.